This is what I've got, some brand new information on keyword research that will allow you to make better decisions, to drive more views, to grow an audience. Coming up. Brian G. Johnson. Brian G. Johnson here and to grow on YouTube, stake your claim and amplify your message by subscribing. When you truly understand keyword research, you can make far better decisions about the video topics you cover, as well as the keyword phrases you target, allowing you to spot opportunity and drive more views. Step number one is to simply identify a keyword phrase in the YouTube search bar. That's it. That's it. That's where the process begins. And the goal is to filter down many keyword phrases that mean the same thing to make a better decision for your channel. Let's do this. And step number two, Clear search understanding. What the heck does that mean? It's simple. When you look at a search term, you should be pretty clear on exactly what it is the viewer, the searcher is after when they're searching on YouTube. And this step is powerful because when you understand what it is the viewer wants, you're gonna be more likely to be able to create a video they like, they enjoy. They're gonna watch longer. That's gonna to lead to more watch time and they'll probably subscribe and you'll win. Step number three, this will boost your views, I guarantee it. Make sure that the search term you're thinking about targeting is also a search term that people are searching for on Google. This has allowed me to drive a lot of views to a lot of videos from Google as well as YouTube. Easy. And step number four, measure the competition with a view target. Simply put, if your channel is brand new or if you have less than say 5,000 subscribers, your view target is a video that ranks for the keyword phrase you're thinking of targeting that has less than 5,000 views. So again, you, you look at the search term you're thinking of targeting, you search for that, and then you're gonna measure the top 20 videos. How many of those videos have less than 5,000 views? That is your search target. And the more videos with less than 5,000 views, the better, because that's an indication of how competitive it is for that particular keyword phrase. Now, when we talk about view targets, your view target will grow based on your ability, your channel's ability to drive views in the first 30 days of a video's release. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that number, the average amount of views you drive in 30 days, and you're gonna multiply that by 20. So on average, I'm gonna drive 4,000 views, 4,000 multiplied by 20, and thus my view target becomes 80,000 views, and that means I can target keyword phrases that are more competitive. Keep that in mind. Step number five, the subscriber target. Here's how it works. As you're researching the potential keyword phrases you may target, and you identify videos that have less views than your view target, pay attention to how many subscribers those uh, channels that published have. The fewer subscribers is again an indication of easier rankings and combine both of these steps, steps four and five, allow you to measure views as well as subscribers to get a better idea of how competitive the keyword phrase is. Now we're not done yet. Watch this entire video to ensure you get this right because this will make all the difference for your channel and your growth. Did you know that you've got free software that will help you make better decisions? It's true, you do. And on a desktop computer, begin by simply searching for the keyword phrase you may want to target. Second, simply copy that phrase. Third, then access the browser, edit, and then find. And you're gonna copy the phrase that pops up in the uh, find box. And when you do that, it's gonna highlight any instances of the keyword phrase you're thinking about targeting. And the more highlights you see, the less boost you're gonna get because highlights represent that the video has been properly optimized by other videos. So the more instances of the highlights, the more competitive it's gonna be to rank. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't work for most YouTubers. I know it's sad, but the problem is, is they identify two or three keywords 
they don't really take the time, the whole five or 10 minutes, to identify a number of different keyword phrases that all mean the same thing and they fail. So what you wanna do is make sure you're going through and identifying as many keyword phrases as possible. A few ways you can do that is begin with a seed keyword, Call of Duty Blackout. Simply put that search phrase in the search bar and then add A and then B and then C. Go through the entire alphabet and make note of any keyword phrase that makes sense for the video you're thinking about publishing. When you do this, I guarantee you'll find more keyword phrases. Another option is to add a prefix. A prefix is something that comes before. So if the seed keyword phrase is Call of Duty Blackout, it would be how to play, that would be the prefix, how to play Call of Duty Blackout. And you can use a suffix, which is something coming at the end of the keyword phrase. And that is how you do keyword research in 2019 to boost your results. Now you can actually access software that goes through this process for you. If you wanna learn what that software is and how it works, watch that video right there. And do this, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, do that and you'll feed a poodle. I still got two of them and they're still pretty hungry. I'll see you next time. You dig?